Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today we're gonna go over the formation I briefly talked about in the recap. So, which is the uh, 4-4-2. So, I was, uh, I've been messing around with a couple formations and this is the one formation where I felt like even though I wasn't scoring, I was still comfortable. I was still comfortable and I didn't think that they would like, I, I didn't think that they were like at risk of, you know, scoring on me. Because uh, the formation is very good for keeping possession and it you can press the whole field So um, let's get into the formation. So these are the current tactics as I went over it before it is drop back I use it on drop back uh, For now just because like I I've, like I don't like using drop back because I do defend a little bit deeper but it, it does help um, specifically specifically for those uh, instances because they are looking to counter you and if you're playing drop back, it, you're most likely not going to get countered unless you're like moving your team all over the place. So I have it on drop back. I have it on five width and four depth. This basically stays the same as what I normally play. And then offensive style balanced the width I have on five and then the players on the box I have on six. So with this one, I I have it on six because I like it, it's higher higher up than the other um, type of tactics because I want when I'm getting the ball uh, with this formation you're playing a little bit more of like possession play and you want more players in the box to give you more like chances and opportunities to score um, corners and free kick same thing uh, too and then the way I set up my team on it is I put Desai and Kante at the CDM spots center mid spots uh, they are both very defensive players so at times it will be somewhat difficult to create chances with them, but overall like their defensive presence is why I have them there. And then the defense obviously stays the same. I put Neymar Neymar out on the right and Dembele out on the left. You can swap um, depending on who you have. You can swap your players. Uh, they they're more winger type players than Mbappe and Son. Mbappe is my best finisher, and then Son is. Uh, He's basically, in every formation I've used, he's been, like, the complementary striker. Uh, he he has, like, he has a really good left and right foot. And his, I don't think his abilities would translate well to the wing because he doesn't have a high agility. So Dembele and Neymar have both really high agility, which is why I have them on the wing. And Mbappe is, by far, my best finisher. Um... So yeah, that's you know that's basically how I set up the team. I look for the fastest, uh, more agile players on the wings, the two better finishers in the middle, and then the CDM spots. Some people will have a more creative center mid in one spot, and the other like the more defensive mid uh, center mid in the other spot. For me, I have two defensive center mids. So the way the instructions are set up, uh, similar to the other ones, uh, the fullbacks on stay back while attacking and on overlap. So when they do, you know they're not gonna do an in, uh, inverted uh, run. It'll always be an overlap. For the center mid spots, I have them both on stay back while attacking and cover the center. In this situation, you don't want them going to the wing too much because there's already players at the wing that will be coming back to defend. So like the most ideal spot for them would be to cover the center and obviously, like I said, stay back while attacking. If you, if you guys have a more offensive center mid, you'll want him on balance. And if it's like, if you go down, uh, you want to put one of them on get forward. That is if you have an offensive one. So like a, a Hule, a Pogba, that kind of type of player. You're going to want them on balance or stay forward. For the wings, I have them on come back on defense, stay wide, and get in behind. For basically Dembele... Uh, Neymar's tactics are a little bit different so for the faster one for him I want him more on the wing like attacking uh, and creating space so that's why I have him on stay wide uh, get back on defense it's basically so that I have extra defensive presence so that I have someone pressing their fullback or pressing their their winger when they're trying to keep possession of the ball uh, get him behind these are the offensive tactics so he stays wide uh, so he creates space spreads the field and he gets behind the, the fullback or center back, you know, whatever they have outside on the wing. Now for Neymar, same thing, come back on, def uh, come back on defense, but I have him cut inside. So he's going to be making runs from the outside in. 
and that'll create chances for him to finesse shots in to create um basically create chances for the strikers sort of like a cam not exactly he he is cutting in from the outside but uh that's what i use him for he's the more creative player better passing better shooting than dembele dembele is more of like a jesus navas type of player than the way that i use him it's more about him running and creating space and for mbappe it's cutting and creating chances and same same thing get him behind run behind the the defense now for the two strikers uh i have son on false nine and which that means he'll drop he'll be dropping a little bit behind Mbappe and kind of working as a uh, center forward type player and uh, he stays central I don't want him going out to the wings like I said he's not too agile I don't want him like too far from the middle I want him you know there to take his shots the rest you know keep it on balance and then for Mbappe I want him to, want him to drift wide and get him behind for this you could adjust it and put it on um, balance width or I, I wouldn't recommend having them both on state central because that might like cut off the amount of um, of different plays you can create if both of them are stuck in the middle so that's why I put him on drift wide I want him to um, drift out to the sides and kind of work as a like not necessarily a winger but just move side to side and you'll be creating more chances and they're both uh, five star weak foot so it won't matter which side of um, they receive the ball on they'll be able to score the chances they get okay guys so those are the tactics for that type of formation basically how i set up my team and like you know the adjustments that they do so like that formation is very good for keeping possession and keeping pressure on an opponent that's keeping possession like this this year when you play a narrow formation it's really hard to get possession back once you're losing so I never really adjust to that formation unless I see that the opponent is keeping a lot of possession of the ball and is just looking for a couple opportunities. I'll use that formation if I'm down by a goal or if the game is really tight and they're keeping a lot of possession of the ball. But if I don't see the need to adjust, I'll stick to my 4-1-2-1-2 because that's my best attacking formation. Typically, when you play a lot of pros, you might have to adjust your style of play to fit how they play or not necessarily fit, but to counter it. So if I'm playing someone who has a really high possession, I'll switch to the 4-4-2 if I'm struggling. If I'm not struggling and the game is back and forth, or if I feel confident that they're not gonna score and then I'm gonna get a couple opportunities, I'll stick with the 4-1-2-1-2. Uh, but yeah, it's all about adjustment. So like, if, you, if you're struggling with either formation or with a formation, just try to adjust, try to change how you're playing and see what your opponent is doing and you know counter it so if they're playing really wide try to keep possession of the ball try to press them out wide that's 4-4-2 is good for that so yeah just basically adjust to what your opponent's doing and try to counter it so yeah i hope this helps you guys find a formation that you guys like i know someone asked me for a 4-2-3-1 possession style i really think i i can make one if if they if it's if it's really requested but i believe the 4-4-2 is kind of what the 4-1-2-1-2 i mean uh it's kind of what the 4-2-3-1 uh was last year this this formation is very good at keeping possession uh really good pressing it has really good attacking options this year you want two strikers in my opinion you need to have two strikers up top uh, just with the way that the game works and the amount of chances you need to like you need to keep rotating the ball so this one you get you can rotate to the wings you can rotate to the middle it's very similar to the 4-2-3-1 from last year. So, yeah, I hope it helps. Um, if you guys have any video requests or any comments in general, if the, if the formation is working for you guys, great. And yeah, just let me know how, how it works for you and see you guys in the next video.